Well, it's not nine books, but four is not bad. <laughs> I mean, I didn't set out to read nine books when I read nine books in April, so reading four books in May, considering everything that I went through in May, not too shabby. So, not going to go into a whole bunch of details there, but May was rough, sickness, work stuff, started out the month of June with a car accident, I'm fine. Anyway, <laughs> this is late, but better late than never. I just did my update video, so you may have seen that, um, watched it or clicked past it, whatever. So this is my review video. Um, I actually did something that I don't usually do. I did very short, kind of concise reviews. I usually do something a little bit more thorough. But what can I say? It, it is what it is. Um, that does not mean that the ratings that I gave the books aren't like sincere like every rating that I gave the books was sincere um they just I just wasn't feeling the long thorough reviews it's, it's more of my style but sometimes you just have to do what you can do and move on from there with that said let me go ahead and look at what I read and let's look at my reviews all right so let me actually get to the review. <laughs> uh, let's see. The review. All right. So the first thing that I completed reading in the month of May was How to Publish and Promote Your Book Now. This was written by L. Diane Wolf. Um, aside from being an author, she is actually a publisher. She has her own publishing company. And I was so excited to meet her face-to-face -face at a writer's conference. And I've been following her for years. We're part of a blogging community together. So reading this book, um, I actually have a paperback version and an ebook version of this book. It's a great reference guide. So let's just get into my review. I'm the type of reviewer who usually goes in depth with reviews explaining why I did or didn't like a book. This um, book has caused me to rethink that approach. This book is simple yet detailed. An excellent reference for any aspiring or established writer seeking publication or an expiring established self-publisher. It's an essential resource. Highly recommended. So yeah, there wasn't really a need for me to say more than that. It's just a really good resource book for aspiring writers, established writers. It has a lot of information in it, good reminders that you forget and some things that maybe you, you overlooked. You know, like I'm going to apply some of this. So. That was my only five-star um, review for the month. Let's get into the next. Yeah. All right. So this is a series that I've been following. I adore it. All right. So Overboard on the Ocean. This is book six in the Molly McGee series by Ellie Jacobson. This, I fear, is the end, except for the mention of a holiday short. I really enjoyed this series and really liked this latest installment. For me, this one wasn't as LOL as previous books, but it was still fun and an easy escape from reality. Um, there were some subtle um, evolutions to certain characters um, that I think took away some of the qualities that I've come to accept in certain characters. But in the end, I understand that characters, like real people, do grow, change, and evolve. Plus, none of the changes were bad, just a little different. As Molly sets out to keep Scooter from making a bad investment, Scooter jumps into the PI game with Molly to solve a case of murder. While this one has some interesting twists, one thing remained the same. Mrs. Moto is still the cutest book character with the most charisma. I don't want to give too much away, but just know, this one had me wanting more, only to discover it may be the last in the series. Totally worth reading. Highly recommended to fans of humor and cozy mysteries. Seriously, with the way this book was going, I just knew that there was going to be like some more, like, like this is going to lead into something else, only to find out at the end that this might be the last book in the series except for a um, holiday short that's coming. But who knows? Even the author says, never say never. So 
Uh, we might see more of Molly and Scooter. We might not. Either way, this one is totally worth reading. All right. My next one is also a four star. Um, I did not review this book. This book is Dark Matter Artificial. Um, the IWSG um, blogging and writing community releases an anthology every year, and they're always excellent. Um, this one I ended up giving four stars to simply because there was some stories that I skipped for personal reasons, but every story that I read in it was really good. So I re highly recommend it to anyone, especially if you like sci-fi, if you like short stories. Um, if you follow the IWSG community, you know the quality of their stuff. Please check it out for yourself. And the last thing that I read was Heart of Courage, the Ruby, uh, the Red Ruby Story. This is book two in the True Color series. I'm going to get down to my review. And I started reading this series because I met this author at a local event. And I, I really admire her. And I enjoyed her first book. So let's get into my review. Uh, let's see here. I like that this book picks up where the first one left off. While this installment didn't wow me the way the first one did, it was still really good. I've already acquired the next book in, um, to continue the series. I continue to enjoy the mingling of past and present, contemporary and paranormal as the story plays out. I think my favorite part of this book was the courtroom scene. As with the first book, there is a good balance of romance, humor, and fright to keep the reader engaged. Plus, there's the added bonus of an age old of an of a centuries old mystery, and the continued unfolding of the family tree. I can't wait to see where the story goes from here. If you live in the Tidewater, aka Hampton Roads, um, if you live in Tidewater, aka, you may um, also enjoy um, reading this book. Some of the local references were my favorite parts. Highly recommended to fans of historical mystery, sweet love stories, paranormal encounters, and colonial and revolutionary American history. All right. So that was that. Um, very probably one of the shortest um, review videos I will do. And I would love to know what you thought about some of the things I read. I would love to know what um, you're currently reading. And um, that's really all I have. I'm hoping that my June stuff will not take as long <laughs> to come out. I'm still working on time travel. And, uh, yeah, guys, stay safe. Bye for now.